um, outside of our little area, not a lot of people know about us or know what we're doing. And if you just look on history and tradition and who's been playing well and who's who's born the limelight, it's them. I mean, and and there's nothing wrong with that. I understand it. What an opportunity. I mean, we've had a lot of them this year that we, we talk about this is a great opportunity to, to show what we can do. It doesn't get any better than that. I mean, their girls play Kinston's girls, all from that area before us, and then them. And, I mean, it's gonna be probably packed. 8,000 people in an arena, a big time college atmosphere. Um, so going in as the underdog, as the one seed, sounds weird, but when you really think it out, it makes some sense. Season from this summer, that's all we talked about, ain't nowhere to hide. We, we, have not, we have not backed down from being defending state champions. We've increased our schedule. we played the best teams. We've done everything we could. They ain't gave us no respect. Damn right. So right now we got 32 minutes. We're gonna make a statement. What kind of a statement today? Let's go, baby. Hey, statement time. Jab roll three. One, two, three. Hey, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Williams Arena here at Menji's Coliseum at East Carolina University for this huge boys 2A Eastern Regional Finals game between. The visiting Farmville Central Jaguars and the undefeated South Granville Vikings. My name's Graham Hill alongside me. Junior Smith III. And Junius, it doesn't get much better than this on Final Four Saturday for the North Carolina High School Athletic Association. You have the defending state champions in the Farmville Central Jaguars hoping to get back to that state championship game, but they're taking on the new kids on the block in the South Granville Vikings. And you know what, this is a South Granville team that feels underestimated, they feel underrated, and they know that a lot of people were not happy with them getting the top seed in the East. This is their opportunity to prove it against a great team like Farmville Central. Well, the Farmville Central Jaguars come to this game with an overall record of 28 and two, 10 and 0 in conference play. Of course, the South Granville Vikings come into this game undefeated both for their overall record for the season and in conference play. How special is it that we get to see the reigning and defending state champions take on an undefeated team to get back, hopefully, to the state championship game next week in Chapel Hill? You know what? It's exciting for for that reason and also the fact that these are two teams that love to get up and down the floor. Farmville Central averages about 88, 89 points a game. South Granville, 82, 83. So this has all the makings of a shootout. Well, let's take a look real quick at the starting lines for the two teams. First, we'll have the Farmville Central Jaguars who come into this game, like we said, with an overall record of 28-2. You'll have 6'3 junior, number one, Tay Quavion Smith at shooting guard. 6'1 junior, number three, Rayshawn Owens at power forward. 6'1 senior, number five, Justin Wright at point guard. 6'2 senior, number 11, Samaj Till at guard. And 6'7 junior, number 21, Leonte Moy at forward. For the South Granville Vikings, they come into this game with an overall record of 30. And, of course, undefeated, you have at guard number zero, Bobby Pettiford. You have at wing, 6'4", senior number two, Kobe Jones. You have at guard, 6'1", senior number five, Micaiah Jones. You have at forward, 6'4", junior number 14, Adrian Sunnell. And then you have 6'3", senior number 23, Joaquiz Allen at the wing. Okay, listen. They shoot a three and miss. We're gone. Hey, we get back on D. Let's go. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Two teams meet at center court. The tip is up, and Farmville Central will have possession first. Which court will oh, give it up to Jones Hill? One on one situation. Now, one on two. He goes up to the basket, makes it, and it's able to draw the foul. So, Farmville Central is able to get on the board first in a big way. Who has it? It's dribbling over to the left side. Now, pulls up for a jump shot, knocks it down. Farmville Central scores again. For Allen driving right down the lane. He's going to pop out to pay for at the three point line. He's going to drive it right down Sir Lane and is able to it's score. Farmville Central being gritty down low as this right. He's able to get the rebound, put it back up for the Jaguars to score. On the back of the rim, Farmville Central recovers. It's not going to be right. Who gives it a three point shot? Bang! Dang, that's good for the Jaguars. Justin Wright has scored Farmville Central's last seven points. In the first quarter, it's Justin Wright doing for the right side. Nice little teardrop is able to fall. Pettiford pulls up at the top of the three-point line. Bang, it's good for the Vikings. Tied ball game at 11 with just under a minute to play in the first quarter. Working from left to right, he now is going to go to the right side, take it to the right. Nice move there as Justin Wright's able to score. Justin Wright has 11 points consecutively right now for Farmville Central. The Jones for a three-pointer, and it's good oh, for man. the Vikings. Oh, my. And Jones pushing the offense, and he alleys it in for Jones, who slams it home. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. 
who gets it all the way down the other end to Smith. And Smith's able to drive in, and he's able to get the basket to fall in. And, and Larry Williford called the timeout. You can't gamble for that, for that steal, so we got to get back. Listen, we got to get back on D. Let's go, Votto. Here we go, hard work on three. One, two, three. Watch our two tap. He takes it out. Watch our two tap. Tell him. 233 let to play here in the first half, tied at 23 apiece. Kobe. Number two, Kobe Jones who slams it home wide open. For Seven the seconds left to go here. Justin Wright gives it off to Owens at the last second, and he's able to score. One second left to go, and Pettiford's going to pull it from half court off the backboard. And that'll do it here for the first half as the South Granville Vikings control a seven-point lead over the Farmville Central Jaguars. The score here, South Granville 30, Farmville hey, Central 25. I believe. I believe. And South Granville will have possession to start the second half as it'll be Pettiford at the top of the key. Jones over to the right side. He's not going to drive right down the lane. Pulls up. Shot is up. It is good for the Vikings. And Samaj Till, he had a big third quarter in the fourth round game. Let's see if that can that trend continues. And on the other end, it's Samaj Till who's able to drive it right down Sarah Lane to score for the Jaguars. And this is what he did against Kinston. Ends up back in Pettiford's hand. He pulls up for a three-point shot. Bang! It's good for the Vikings. How in four seconds do we allow someone to drive all the way down the court and nobody steps in front of him? You don't want it if you let that happen again. There's no way. He hands it on to Teal, and Teal goes right to the river on the left my side. Goodness. He's able to score. Pushing the tempo here as it's Teal is going to take it right to the oh basket. Oh, my goodness. Nice up and under move oh for Teal. Goodness. Jones pulls up for a three-point shot, and he's able to knock it down. Right side now, dribbling down the center of the lane, goes all the way to the hoop, and is able to score for the Vikings. That was just too easy for Bobby Petter. And Teal will go all the way to the basket and score for the Jaguars. Here in the ball game, tied at 50 apiece between these two teams. Smith pulls up just inside the three-point line. He's able to get the jump shot. The Pettiford drives right to the rim. 53 to 52. Just over 90 seconds to go here. As Justin Wright pulls up for a jump shot. That's good. He's late with two. The follow of South Granville gets the, re gets the rebound. Three-point shot is good there by Micaiah Jones. Tied at 55. Under a minute to play. 57 to 55 in favor of the Jaguars. Pettiford drives in for the left side. He's able to score or not. They're going to try to win this here. Pettiford, five seconds, he's got to do something. Stepping up, dribbling in between his legs. One second left, now pulls up, three-point shot. And we're going to overtime. Hey, let's go, hey, let's win this thing right, right here. Oh, go three, now one, two, pops three. it back out to Smith at the top of the key. Smith drives in, pulls up on the free throw line. It's good for the Jaguars. Head coach Kevin Keats is here to see his NC State commit. As on the other side, Micaiah Jones. Six to three pointer. Justin Wright gives a go ahead pass to Teal. And Teal cannot get the one oh, over the oh, Smith on the recovery slams it home. I see you, big man. Oh. Opportunity to make this a one possession game. That's exactly what they'll do is Pettifer will take it right to the rim. Smith, who's going to hold it. And that's the ball game at Smartville Central for the second consecutive, for the second consecutive year. We'll be advancing to North Carolina High School. Athletic Association State Championship game. What a game. We knew coming into this, it was going to be a classic. And that's exactly what it was. You know what? I'm blessed to be a part of this one. The final score here, it took an extra period to decide the result. But the final score here, the Farmville Central Jaguars 66, the South Grable Vikings 63, as the two teams meet for the handshakes. The South Grable Vikings will finish the season with an overall record of 30 and one. They finished 12-0 in their respective conference, won their conference title. You got to give credit to head coach Jake Wolfel, his assistant coaches, Jonathan Perry, Doug Willis, James Morton, and this South Grable Vikings program 
for making it to the Eastern Regional Finals. Zero regrets. Come on. 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 For the rest of y'all's lives, we are family. Y'all got me? Yes, that does not change. Good times, bad times, we're family. We're always here for every one of you. Turn off one more time. What more is there to say? Great game from start to finish. Nothing could have been better than sending this game into overtime and seeing these two teams play for an extra four minutes. But in the end, Farmville Central, who had a 41 game win streak snap in the John Wall Holiday Invitational, they did not let them get, that did not let them get out of place. As South Granville will leave the building to a nice reception for their fans and child from Creedmoor. But it's the Farmville Central Jaguars who get it done and are headed back to the state championship. Junius, final thoughts to close out the game. There's nothing more that you really can say, but this was an absolute classic from start to finish between these two teams. Farmville Central is the better team. If they would have hit their free throws, this game would have been over in regulation. But hey, hats off to the Jaguars, and hopefully they win their second straight title. I got uh, Traquavion Smith, Jr. I got Senior, Samaj Till. I got Senior, Justin Wright. Um, I guess the first thing I'll say is, you know, diversity hit and we didn't fail. And for whatever reason it was, it brought us closer together. Um, you know, we were, things weren't going right in the first half. And there was a lot of looking at each other and talking. And in the second half, we all became one. And we had one goal, and it started at halftime. These guys all said, hey, this is what we got to do. And we laid out two or three little things that we needed to do, get back on D, don't care who takes the shot. And, uh, you know, when you don't care who gets the sugar, good things happen. Uh, I feel like we represent well. Uh, we play for the two far, really. That's why every time we win, we shout it out. We want to show that the two far got some good hoopers, too. Yeah, I said we like, we just want to show everybody we some dog. Like, people, they be still sleeping on this, saying they're going to beat us, but we always prove everybody wrong. Uh, same thing they said. <laughs> 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 say nothing else. <laughs> We're ready. I, I want to play right now. But we got four days of practice. We're going to be the most prepared team. We're going to be ready to rock and roll. Okay? Let's get ready. Here we go. <laughs> Honey, let's go. Go! Going up, elevate. 
Whoa. Watch me demonstrate Whoa. On time, never late. never late I grind, celebrate No pump fake, hesitate I have been scoring every day scoring. Champagne Perrier Since 9-3, been in the box Now I'm stepping up to home Like straight out the sand lot Now I'm plotting on the globe, on the globe. I work hard, I show love That karma steady growing Got this far, I go hard Let God take control, God take control. I was starving, skinny, now my weight up Got no energy for haters See you trying, see you later See you later. I'm shooting for the stars Need no laser beam Blowing like the greatest But it's one who's always greater Yo. Go dummy, go beast on em I go beast Go deep, I OD on em Apply pressure, put heat on em Put that Five zero degrees on em Clear. This here my year. Yeah. Hey, look up here. Up here. This here my tear.